Hello again and welcome back everybody to another edition of the Rural Report. I am your Rural 2IC and we're going to follow up. We just did a uh, interview video with Evan from Get My Brand New Patch. Radio Made Easy and we love Evan. Evan is a great guy outside of radios and I have heard nothing but great feedback from uh, people that have met and took classes from him. So if you are interested in comms, make sure that you go check him out. I have a link down in the description of the video and every single video. And with that, I'm going to go over just a couple. So when we talk about communications, because communication is extremely important, and we talked about it in the video, there is different types of comms and different types of situations will warrant different types of the way that you're going to communicate and so if we're just on say the homestead okay we've got 40 acres and we need to communicate well one of the best things that you can do is just a simple walkie talkie this right here will give you a little bit of a range so that way uh, you're not having to play the shouting telephone this is good for a multitude of things you on this one here cannot make this one hands-free but there are walkie talkies that you can um, there's a lot of the walkie talkies that will integrate with other ones that you don't necessarily have to buy all the same brand it would be best if you do and it would be great to pick up extras so that way you can hand them out so that way if your neighbors come over you guys can communicate if your mag your friends grandkids you know whatever if they guys if they come over uh even if you're just sending the grandkids out to play hey uh take one of these with you so that way if somebody falls down gets hurt if something happens or whatever we've got a line of communication now these come in a variety of prices you can get cheap ones for kids for 10 20 bucks uh you can get adult ones for 20 30 dollars I've seen these things right up into the hundreds, okay? Um, and you've got to fit your needs to what you're trying to do. Whenever you have a radio question, a gear question, a whatever, it's always, well, if the zombies come, well, you know, this. Okay, well, what are you trying to do with it? You know, are you, are you trying to take over the planet with this? Because it's not going to work. Are you trying to talk to somebody that's uh, 150 yards away that you're not trying to scream? Yeah. Yeah, this this is a great problem solver for that so make sure that what you're trying to do is what you're trying to get next is going to be everybody's favorite and so this is the bow fang uh everybody and i didn't know this until i talked to evan uh where is my little oh it's on this side so yeah, so it's the UV-5R is probably the most common Baofeng there is. If you're going to buy a Baofeng, that's the one that I would recommend. I don't have one, and I didn't know that until I talked to Evan. Um, and that's going to be my next radio. But I have this Baofeng, which is basically the kind of walkie-talkie. Uh, it's kind of an upgraded version of this, so to speak. But basically, you take this, put it up here. I've got a hands-free now, and I can communicate. Uh, they're cheap. They're not the best. Everybody knows that. That does anything about radios. But they they get some of the job done. And again, it depends on what you're trying to do. Now, as Evan pointed out, when it comes to Baofengs, they're kind of like the uh, uh, low-end standard, I guess is the best way to put it, to where there's so many parts, pieces, and upgrades that you can do to these. Now, again, you're not going to take a... a $25 Baofeng and turn it into military specs, okay? At least most of us aren't. Um, and then that takes us up into the next one, which I have a UV9 because I thought it was better than the 5. So I spent the money and got the UV9. Uh, and again, this one is the hands free. So I would put this up in here. This would get clipped somewhere on me. And this one has a lot more features than the other one does. Uh, Evan does help you out with that. There is uh, things that you can go onto his uh, website and purchase 
to help program these things, or you can do a class or an online one-on-one -on -one with him. But you have that option. Then you can go a little bit more closed circuit. So this one right here. Uh, we got these right here just because of the way that we can do frequency. Now, uh, when I bought these, I didn't know anything about comms. So I thought that I could take and set this and basically have a known private channel. And that is definitely not the case. Uh, so actually what I utilize this for now, because I don't want to throw it away, is this is actually my monitoring. So I will turn this on uh, because the battery life in this thing is stupidly long. Uh, I will turn this on and I will clip it wherever I'm at, kind of like a base camp. And this is actually just my monitor. Uh, it does work. It does have the buttons. I can transmit. But that's what this turned into. And it's technically not a bad idea when it comes to things like that. Now, if you are wanting something a little bit more mobile, one of the things that you can do is you can switch over and buy something like this. Now, this can be a uh, like a, a home or a in your tent or whatever. You could do something like this. If you're traveling, there are travel ones more friendly for that. This is more of that permanent one. So this would be set up inside of your home or in a car or something along those lines. These are not cheap by any means. You're, you're probably not going to go find one of these uh, for $20, $30. But again, you're going to have to spend some money and you're going to have to buy all the necessary things. You're going to have to learn how to do the install or pay for the install for this and you're going to have to take and, and, and start watching a ton of videos or take some classes and learn how these function. Most of us growing up uh, as a kid, depending, depending on your age, uh, at some point in time have come across a walkie talkie. So we understand how it kind of works. Push button, you send out. Let off button, you receive. Kind of the very basic function. Now, there's a lot more into it especially when you have things like GMRS and you have ham and you have uh, commercial use and all things like that. Um, my personal opinion, if you're coming to me and you're saying, hey, what should I do? I would say your best thing to do would be to buy the Baofeng. Buy a uh, UV5 and that would be a really great starting out tool. Um, if you want and you have the extra money, go to Radio Made Easy, go to his website, and they have already programmed, open the box, turn on, it, it's ready to go. You can go do that. It's going to be a little extra money because he's already pre-programmed and done everything to the radio, so it's going to be a open, here you go. Now, you can move up, and he makes a really great point. Radios are usually not the thing that you buy in tiers. And so it would actually be more beneficial for you to take the classes, learn the things that you need, and then buy that upper one that will fit your needs. Now, I will still, at least in my opinion, suggest getting walkie-talkies because they hold their value and their use. They have a point in the communications world. I would also recommend getting a CB. Now, when it comes to these, that's up to you. You're going to have to figure out what is your financial situation, what it is that you're comfortable with, um, what it is that your family and your team or your mag, what they're comfortable with. Because if you have five people in your mag and four of you go take classes and the fifth one doesn't and SHTF happens, do you want to sit down with that fifth person and school him how to use the radio? Or are you going to toss him a, a bow fang and go turn it on channel five? You've got to make sure that whoever has these radios is on the same level as you. This is not a thing of I'm better than you. I took a class. I know more. Uh, this is everybody needs to be on the same wavelength when we're talking about radios and what we're going to use as a team or a unit or a mag or a tribe or whatever group we're calling ourselves. Um, but that's just to give you some ideas. Uh, if you did not watch that interview, please go back and watch that interview with Evan with Radio Made Easy. Uh, if you have more advanced questions or anything like that, email him. 
Uh, he is a really good guy. Um, he will be able to answer a lot of the questions that you have. If you need more than just a one-off question, then you can actually schedule some time with him. It will cost money because uh, he, he can't sit out and do everything for free. He's got a family to feed and it's his job. So you're going to have to kick him a few dollars and he will block off some time and sit down and discuss your needs, make a plan with you. Uh, he will listen to your uh, situation. He will listen to what it is that uh, you need and he will make recommendations and, and help you get up to that communications level that you desire or, uh, you know, the one that will best fit you. So I hope that answers some of the questions. I hope that gives you a little bit more of an insight into comms. Comms is an extremely important part. Uh, we will probably be doing more stuff about comms. So if that interests you, then make sure you hit the subscribe button so that way you'll be notified when all the content comes out. And while you're down there, just go ahead and hit the like and subscribe thing. You know, help a, help a guy out. So uh, stay tuned. There's more information to come. If you made it to this part of the video, guess what? You rock double one for today. And say it with me now. Please, above everything else, remember to remain united. Because we're all prepping in this together.